Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey traders, checking in on the broader markets today. It was a wild day out there. We had jobs numbers of six plus million and the market is up over 2%. And I must admit deep down, I love when that happens because it helps more people see what a game this is and helps more people understand the value of technical analysis when you see things in price happen that make absolutely no sense based on fundamentals and reality. And that's why technical analysis can be so useful in these kind of market environments. We saw oil go nuts. We'll talk about that. We saw LK, which has been a previous blue sky breakout bull a couple of months ago. And then today we saw a massive dump, massive bounce, tons of halts, tons of volatility. But overall, the market bulls coming out with a win today, but they have a lot of proving to do to change the daily trend. Where SPY stands right now, we are $8 above the low of consolidation or about $11.40 above the top of the daily bounce. So we need another 11.40 to change the daily trend with a higher low and higher high. It's possible to happen. And for the bears to see further consolidation, we have to see a bear break of hourly support. And the hourly higher low on SPY formed at 245.93. So low of the day, high of the day, hourly higher low, didn't get the bull break into the end of the day. We're at the high of the day in after hours right now, but have to see a clear bull break. So a couple other things to talk about on SPY. I personally exited my short half of it yesterday after hours and half of it this morning. Why did I enter yesterday after hours? Because of this chart. And I just looked at this chart. I honestly had no intention. I did the, the market video at the end of the day. I had no intention of selling anything. And I was looking at SPX 500 USD on the hourly time frame, And that was enough for me to say, that's a falling wedge. I'm going to take a little bit off here because it looks like it bounces incoming. So it was this downtrend resistance line and just one chart, just a glimpse of this had me say, I want to lighten up my position. So falling wedge. And then we had a bull break in extended hours. And then all that volatility pre-market and after the bell rang with the jobs numbers, so exiting all of my short, I did enter a GLD position in my IRA today, which we'll go over as well. Lots to talk about. So we know what bulls need to change the daily trend and the bears at this point need to lose the hourly high or low to be looking back down towards the low of current consolidation. So looking at IWM, so IWM bulls trying to see follow through as well. And actually one more note on SPY. SPY has a gap to fill as our next resistance level. This wick is a bit of a fluke. It wasn't there yesterday. We broke the high of yesterday today. So you could say that our daily higher low has been set. Although if we confirm that hourly trend change, it would be more confident, which would have needed a new high of the day into the close. But there's a gap to fill at 256.22. So that's the next short term level that we're looking at. And there's a lack of price history from two days ago until we get to that level. So IWM, we did not change the hourly trend and we actually dropped to a lower low at the end of the day. And anything under 110.39 would just be an hourly lower high. So a little bit weaker than SPY. QQQ, big bull move. And at the end of the day, we changed the hourly trend. Higher low and higher high. Again, that wick, not real at the end of the day. Zoom into the one minute time frame, And actually that is a lot of volume though. I doubt we saw a $3 plus move on that much volume. So a little bit of a fluke in that wick, but we did break to a new high of the day. Either way, it's very similar to SPY. We are looking at the hourly trend change to try and set the daily higher low. There's a gap to fill at 189.20. The low of Tuesday is the next level. And here's the same thing. For XLF, the gap fill is 2064. Did we change the hourly trend is the first thing I want to know. The answer is no. Hourly higher low is established and 2020 would have to have broken. So we have clear support levels on the hourly time frame on all these sectors. And that's going to be the most important support into tomorrow. XLV, 
Very strong close. Gap to fill, 87.64. We already filled it. Look at the hourly time frame. Hourly, clear bull trend change, bull volume, everything the bulls want to see. This is a daily bull flag. So right now, this daily bull flag needs a break of 89.53 to confirm. And if we confirm it, keeping in mind that the healthcare sector here is the third largest holding in the S&P 500, that's going to increase the odds that the S&P 500 could see a daily trend change as well and break the high of the bounce. But have to see that bull break first. Tesla is running after hours right now. Probably should have bought in the 460s rather than press record on this video as I saw the news come out. Production numbers after hours on Tesla, squeezing some shorts and seeing that price run up pretty significantly. We're up about 10% from where we closed today. Biotech sector, have we changed the hourly trend? Higher low and higher high. So the biotech sector significantly correlated to the healthcare sector. And on the daily time frame, we're looking at the gap of 75, 96 filled. And now we're looking up to the top of the bounce, 78.89 and 79.26. SMH, have we changed the hourly trend? Nope. Bulls would have to break 114.70. Hourly higher low, very clear. And daily resistance up at 121.34. So tomorrow I'm going to be watching clues. I'm going to be watching the hourly time frame for SPY, XLF, QQQ, and XLV. Can we keep the hourly higher low? Can we break to a clear hourly higher high? And can we make our way back up towards the top of this bounce? If not, further daily consolidation. And again, as I've said in recent videos, I would not be surprised to trade within this range, the low of the dump and the high of the bounce. I wouldn't be surprised to trade around here for another few weeks and things could get choppy if we continue to trade within this range. So keeping that on my mind as well. TVIX, let's actually look at the VIX. So the VIX not getting any follow through from the daily higher low attempt. Still slowly fading back down. 3620 is a level to be watching. And a lot of people watch 50 as far as when volatility is elevated when we're above 50 and when things are calming down when we're back below 50. But 3620 is the most important level for me. Pretty much 3620 to 6910 is the most important range. And again, we can trade within that range for a while, just like SPY can trade within its range. TLT, top of the bounce, 11011 Didn't break today, but the bulls are keeping their short-term control. Again, bears prove nothing on this chart unless we see a bear break of 164.56. Tesla's up to 515 now. Huge short squeeze going on after hours. Congrats to any Tesla bulls. Gold. So I entered GLD this morning pre-market for a number of reasons. Number one, the four-hour trend change. Number two, we had a bullish reaction to the jobs numbers. And number three, our daily higher low has been set. I like the risk to reward. So I made an entry around 151 on GLD in pre-market and my stop is going to go under the low. So 147.97. So I'm risking roughly $3.10. And the hope is a daily bull break over 155.66 to get follow through, which would be a gold daily trend change back in their favor with a higher low and then a higher high. And then that would make the risk worth the reward as the reward at that point would be $6 plus or approaching $6 plus. And again, I'm looking to hold it long term to see if we can break the recent high, which is our multiple year high. Silver, daily higher low established, 1473 resistance. And you can see we're coming up on that resistance and that will be a daily trend change if it breaks. Bull miners. So bull miners set their daily higher low. And that is at 23 even. That is now the most important support level for me. The hourly uptrend is our guide. Short-term support is 24.97. As I've talked about in multiple videos, I would be watching for a daily lower high. And I have to keep an eye on gold as well because if gold fails to break its daily resistance and stays in a tightening daily range, we're likely going to see this daily lower high set on these miners. And if we lose the daily uptrend, our weekly lower high will then have been set. So if we see a lower high compared to 27.21 and we drop down and break 23, we lose the daily uptrend. And that's worth keeping an eye out for. 
If gold gets a bull break, the GDX bulls definitely want to break 2721 to keep their daily uptrend intact as well. Oil. So one little update before we talk about oil, just read that the Kremlin is denying any conversation ever happened, and it looks like it was fake news that caused all these algos to react and see such a significant spike on the oil chart. We've seen this many times with fake news in regards to the China-Trump trade war and the deal that they were working out. It was almost like every day we were seeing news that wasn't really true, but algos and bots were reacting to those headlines. And today is a prime example of that if this news does indeed turn out to be completely fabricated. Oil with a huge amount of volatility today with a big bull spike. We had Trump put out a tweet. We have talks of production reduction, output reduction. So we are watching the four hour time frame where we changed the trend by breaking 2187 and that happened before the tweet. And this is what happened when the tweet squeezed some shorts and exploded the price to the upside. So a four hour trend change, the 12 hour is over exponential resistance for the first time in over a month. Next time we consolidate, we'll look for a 12 hour higher low. And now the most important resistance level for me is 2846. <clears throat> Keep in mind, we haven't changed the daily trend. This move is coming off the low of 1929, but bulls have created lots of space for themselves. There was also another nice trade for the first five minute oversold conditions after the massive bull move heading into the pits close where we saw another massive 8% move in less than a half an hour. And I just missed an entry on that oversold bounce. Someone in the chat room pointed it out. Shout out to, got to give them the proper shout out at this point, but pointed out first five minute oversold conditions. And again, very useful bounce off of that level. So it was Frazier, Frazier, is that how you spell Frazier? Shout out to Frazier. So oil at this point, Consolidation is healthy, hourly high or low. We're gonna look for an hourly lower high on this bounce. Tightening hourly range, if it breaks bearish, we're gonna zoom out and look for a four hour higher low. This is the first time the four hour exponential 12 and 26 period have crossed bullish since this dump started in the 50s. So again, a lot of little notable shifts going on with the significance of this bounce. Natural gas bears in complete control. 12 hour broke bearish, might as well get rid of these lines. Anything under 1626 is just a daily lower high. And take that back. I was on the 12 hour chart. Anything under 1676 is just a daily lower high. We broke 1524. There's no support down here. As, as far as previous price levels, bears have absolute full control of natural gas. So that's where we stand overall. Bulls are pleased with how today turned out, but we're going to have to see SPY keep this hourly uptrend into tomorrow if we're going to have any follow through and it will be fascinating if these bulls can change this daily trend with all the fundamentals pointing so bearish. It's possible. Have to keep an eye out for it. Have to prepare for every scenario. And that's why stop losses are so important. Appreciate you watching. Hope you had a good week and we will see you on Monday. Mm -hmm.